So what is a BPD favourite person? In this video I will explain what is BPD and what is a favourite person in terms of BPD. And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good if I'm alone, I got it. So let's start off with what is BPD. BPD stands for Borderline Personality Disorder. It is also known as Emotionally Unstable Personality Disorder. Both of them are exactly the same diagnosis. They are just in two different mental health books. One is the diagnosis which is documented in the DSM and the other one is the one that is do documented in the ICD. So a favourite person as the name suggests is somebody that you are really close with and in most cases without someone without BPD, having a favourite person doesn't necessarily have a huge impact. With BPD, if you have a favourite person, and most people with BPD do have favourite people, or a favourite person, losing that favourite person can actually have such a big and traumatic impact on that person, you know, that bond with BPD, that it can cause such a traumatic response to losing that person that the symptoms of BPD can can just be overwhelming. So a favourite person is somebody that you become really, really close with. And as I said, this can be somebody, you can have this without having the BPD with it. So this favourite person doesn't necessarily need to be somebody that you physically are able to spend time with, although in most cases it is. So a favourite person with BPD is very similar to a special interest in terms of autism. So for example, it could be your best friend who's your favourite person, but it could also be a celebrity who you know every fact about and you kind of almost seem obsessed with that celebrity. This does not mean that you are obsessed to the point of stalking the celebrity or your friend, it just means that you've developed such such a intense attachment to that person that losing that person would potentially be the end of your world. Not necessarily logically, as in like, you wouldn't, it wouldn't actually be the end of your world, but it would seem like it emotionally because you wouldn't be able to cope or you don't think you'd be able to cope without that person. The impact of losing a favourite person in your life and whether that be physically losing that person because they pass away or whether it be losing that person because you have a massive argument beyond repair. Either way, losing a favourite person when you have BPD can cause a relapse, it can cause a lot of other symptoms that would be directly as a result of having BPD. But that is all I have for a BPD and favourite person. Sorry, it's a bit of a shorter video today. I do not have anything else that I can talk about with BPDs and favourite people. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like and comment. Do you know anybody who has BPD? And if so, do they seem to have a favourite person? Because I'd be very interested to hear your experiences. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in my next one. Just like you're young again, no, don't you cry. Just get back up again.